Welcome to Pollen Weather by Pollen Wise App. It's Wednesday, August 5th. I'm Landon Bunderson, and this is the place for daily allergy news and forecasts. Today we're going to talk about allergy showering routines, but first we'll do the forecast. Pollen is going to be extremely low on the East Coast for at least a day while things dry out. Much of the country is going to peak at the low to moderate level. Those are the green and yellow numbers on the map. Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah are going to have some higher highs with some orange and red numbers here. That is high and very high. Mold is a problem in the same areas where pollen is a problem. Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah do expect the east and midwest mold and pollen levels to rise rapidly when things dry out. Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, I think you're going to see that happen before the week is out. Air quality not great in the west, but bad in southern central California and around some of the cities in the southwest. Mississippi and Louisiana, your coastal regions might experience poor air as well. Some windy conditions coming to the northeast, Vermont, New Hampshire, New York, but that wind is coming with wet weather, so pollen and mold are only a potential problem before the rain comes. That cool air across the upper Midwest and northeast is still hanging out, so get out and enjoy it. It won't last. One of the things that you'll hear us say over and over is that when you've been exposed to pollen or mold, you should shower and change your clothes before you go to bed. I want to share one tip for your shower routine, specifically a tip for keeping allergens out of your eyes, nose, and mouth. A few simple concepts can keep you from coming out of the shower feeling worse than you did going in. In order to avoid feeling worse when you come out of the shower, you need to remember that after being outdoors, you've likely gotten pollen and mold on your face and in your hair. Your hair is naturally good at collecting pollen and mold, especially if you have lots of hair. Because it collects and holds that pollen and mold so well, you're just walking around carrying those allergens until you take a shower. When you shower, some of those allergens run down your face and have the potential for making your symptoms worse in your eyes, nose, and mouth. Additionally, those pollen grains can burst when exposed to water, meaning that the allergens locked inside those pollen grains are released, making the liquid running down your face very allergenic. So what's the solution? First, before you get into the shower, wipe your face off gently with a damp washcloth to remove allergens and to keep them from running into your mouth, eyes, and nose. Remember to wipe your eyebrows and eyelashes. The next thing you can do is start the shower and wash your hair immediately. Wash your hair by leaning your head backwards and making sure the water running through your hair runs down your back and not your face. It sounds simple, but it can make a big difference. A detachable shower head can make the process easier, and if you don't have one, they are inexpensive and relatively easy to install. Paying attention to little things like how you do your shower routine can make a big difference and can help you feel better coming out of the shower than you did going into the shower. I hope this little tip helps. Thanks for listening. Remember, we're on YouTube under the name Pollen Channel if you ever want to rewatch a segment.